Hi everybody, Miss Mary back again with another virtual story time from Midpoint Libraries. Are you ready for it? Let's sing. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story and you want us all to know, if you're ready for a story, wave hello. Hi everybody, how you doing? I don't know why I'm using a silly voice, why not? Um, so, let's see. Is it cold outside today? Let's look out the window. Again, there's not a window there. I just like to act like it. <laughs> anyway, um, so I thought maybe today we could have some stories that have nothing to do with the weather and really have nothing to do with anything except that I like them. <laughs> How about that? And of course, the stories are going to use our imagination. Okay, so our first book was written for us and illustrated by Antoinette Portis. This one is called Not a Stick. So if we look at this front cover, we see an animal, I think that's a pig, maybe, holding what I think is a stick. But the book says, not a stick. Hmm, okay. Well, let's see what happens here. Not a stick. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that stick. And he says, it's not a stick. Now on this very first picture, I'm gonna point out that our friend, this animal, I'm just gonna say pig, okay. This pig is outlined in black and the stick is outlined in black but everything else is in blue. Hmm. So we said, hey, watch out for that stick. And the pig says, it's not a stick. If it's not a stick, what is it? Yeah, it's a fishing pole. Hmm. All right. <gasps> oh, look where you're going with that stick. And he says, what stick? What does he have in his hand now? A baton, that's right. Have you ever seen a marching band? Maybe at a football game or in a parade? There's usually a person in front with that stick walking, right? Oh, not a stick, baton. Hey, 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 watch where you point that stick. This is not a stick. What is he imagining the stick is now? Yeah, a paintbrush. Do you think he made that painting? Possibly. I think somebody else did it first, but it's a pretty good copy. <clears throat> now, what are you doing with that stick? It's not a stick. What's he doing? Yeah, lifting weights. Do you have big muscles? Let me see your big muscles. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hey, hey, don't trip on that stick. I'm telling you, it's not a stick. Now what's he imagining? Yeah, imagining that he's riding a horse. And again, if we look closely, we can see that the pig is outlined, it's all black lines and the horse and everything else is all in blue. You know what I think? I think the blue lines are the pig's imagination. Mm hmm mm hmm So, you're still standing around with that stick? This is not a stick. And now it tripped me up because now the stick the, uh, deck, the other things that are not stick are not in blue. They're all in white this time. I think it's nighttime. Do you see the eyes of the other creatures looking at the pig? <laughs> okay. If it's not a stick, what is it then? Look at that good imagination. What is the pig fighting off now? A fire-breathing dragon. 
And he says, it is my not a stick. Isn't that cool? All the things that the pig could imagine that his stick was. I love using the imagination. It's one of my favorite things. So, <clears throat> I was thinking for our song, we could imagine that Mary can sing. <laughs> okay, um, seriously, I wanna thank you all for putting up with my singing talent. So I thought we could have another scarf song today. And today I actually brought a scarf. Now, if you don't have a fun library story time so uh, scarf, that's okay. I've used um, socks or maybe a washcloth or whatever you wanna do, whatever you think would be fun, okay? So this song is um, called Shake Your Scarves and um, we're gonna sing it together. You ready? Scarves up, scarves down. Shake your scarves all around. Scarves up, scarves down. Shake your scarves all around. Scarves in, scarves out. Shake your scarves all about. Do it again. Scarves in, scarves out. Shake your scarves all about. Here's my favorite part. On your back. Can you put your scarf on your back? On your tummy. Shake your scarves. Nice and funny. Again, on your back. On your tummy. Shake your scarves. Nice and funny. Scarves up. Scarves down. Put your scarf on the ground. And then we could clap if you want to. <laughs> oh, I like scarf songs, they're kind of fun. You know what else I like? I like Pete the Cat. Do you like Pete the Cat? If you like Pete the Cat, give me a thumbs up. Oh, look at all those thumbs, yes. All right, Pete the Cat's pretty cool. And you know, Pete uses his imagination a lot too. <clears throat> so this book that we're gonna share today is called, I Love My White Shoes. And there's, um, there's a little bit of a song that goes with this. And if you know it, sing along. And I'm not always real good at getting the notes right, but that's okay. Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. This one uh, was written for us by Eric Litwin and illustrated by James Dean. You know just what I mean. All right. <clears throat> Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Oh no. Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did that make his shoes? That's right, red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my red shoes, I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes, oh no. Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? That's right, blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue shoes, I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes, oh no. This keeps happening. Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. Yuck. What color did it turn his shoes? That's right, brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown shoes. 
shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Oh no. Pete stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color was, were his shoes again? White, that's right. But now they were wet. Ugh. Have you ever had wet shoes Ooh, and wet socks? Ooh, what a yucky feeling. But did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song because it's all good. I love my white shoes, Pete the Cat. And you know, I think that's a really good message there. No matter what you step in, no matter what happens to you, especially if it's something unpleasant, it's okay, not the end of the world. So I got something yucky on my shoes. It's all right, because you know what I still have? A smile. So I'm thinking that today, um, I've got two things. One, you can use your imagination and find a stick or a box or a something and see how many things you can pretend that it is, right? The other thing that I'm gonna suggest, because today we got books that Mary likes, um, maybe you could do something that you like to do and ask your grown-up what your grown-up likes to do and do that. Especially if it's something you haven't done before, you might find a new thing that you like, you know? And even if it's not your favorite thing that you do with your grown-up, it's always fun spending time together, isn't it? Yeah. All right, everybody. So, um, oh my gosh, do you know what next week is? Next week is a very special story time. Next week, Mr. Jacob is going to join me and we're going to have a bilingual story time and we're going to have books in both English and Spanish. Doesn't that sound like fun? Okay, let's sing our goodbye song. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye-bye, everybody.